Hello to you, Tessa. Well, obviously, uh, everyone looking at the elder statesmen of Europe, as uh, some people see Jean-Claude Juncker, but what about the young voices of Europe? What about the next generation of Europeans? What do they have to say? Well, here in the queue, uh, we've been reaching out to a lot of young people from the uh, European Youth Forum. Now, they're obviously, as you can imagine, quite engaged in wanting uh, to debate about the future of Europe, and they were really keenly watching this speech. Let's just bring you up some of, of what they had to say here. This is Karina. Uh, she's 28 years old, and uh, she's from Austria. Now, for her, Jean-Claude Juncker touched on youth unemployment which was a key issue. But for her view, anyway, it didn't go far enough. Let's hear what she had to say. The European Union is slowly recovering from the financial crisis. Youth unemployment might be lower than it was some years ago. But we also need to ensure that young people have quality jobs and also have access to social rights and that their social rights are protected. So an idea here that, yes, Juncker Lunker might have touched upon it, Juncker touched upon it, but he didn't go far enough in actually dealing with it. I think we're hearing that from the panel discussion there. Uh, well, there's Andre here in Belgium, and uh, for him it was climate change, you know, talking about it. But what was the action? Let's see what he had to say. In the state of the European Union, Juncker talked a lot about climate change. He talked a lot, but he didn't promise any action. And action is what we young people need. Because if we're not doing it now, the problems are only getting worse, and future generations need to deal with it. Let me just finally end with you uh, on Kristen, uh, Kristen here. Now, Kristen, she is uh, 25, uh, she's from Estonia. And for her, the future of Europe is about getting young people elected and more involved in that way. Let's hear what she had to say. President Juncker called for next year to be a landmark for democracy. This can only happen if all citizens are equally part of this process and barriers to young people's participation are removed. Political parties need to give real electable positions to young candidates and candidates and parties in their programs need to speak about issues that matter to young voters. So that's just a flavour of what some young people are saying in Estonia, in Austria, in Belgium. But Tessa, as you're saying there, there's a lot of opinions going around. And I think a lot of people feel Jean-Claude Juncker delivered a speech that didn't really uh, offer much in the way of substance that they wanted to hear. All right. Thank